Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. Welcome back to Pet Training Baby Tomega. This time, the Rescue Rover. This pet <laughs> is an ice pet that comes from the Yuletides packs. That's the only place as a first-gen pet that he comes from. And I was lucky enough to get a couple back last Christmas. I just hadn't got to training this pet yet. I had him in my house. I'm like, what can I do today? And I saw the Rescue Rover, and I thought, hey, that's a perfect pet. I used to have a St. Bernard as a kid, and so <laughs> this guy really, he really does tickle my fancy sitting there watching him do his thing. Anyway, not that you want to have me get long-winded about St. Bernard, but I'll go ahead and get started and get him training up, and I will be right back whenever he gets to his teen level. And I am back. The Rescue Rover is just about to get his teen level. So let me go ahead and get him trained up <laughs> while he scratches his ear and see what he's going to get for us. The first town I always think is the best one. It's You have the most open slots and the most chance for the best stuff. Let's see. Get down here. <laughs> and I love it. I love, as usual, I love his sound effect. <laughs> that was a pretty good clear out, too. Look, tore that whole thing up. Nice. All right. Kill off this obst obstinate gobbler here. And throw a St. Bernard at him. That'll do it. And the winner is... Well, the winner is... Hurry up and get, get the score annotated. There we go. Let's see. He's an ice pet. So let's give him a fancy yogurt. He got ice dealer, which is... Hey, <laughs> there you go. Ice can use all the damage boost they can get. That... That's a damage boost. Beautiful. That's a great start for this pet. Great start. And he got big recovery. Let's see. Plus 25% morale chance jump to self. What the heck does that mean? Morale chance jump to self. 10 seconds. I don't know exactly what that means, but okay. 20 second cooldown. Let's finish him. And he liked that snack, which is great, which gives you 55, which is beautiful for raising his talents up. Okay. Let's check him out again. See where that spotted up at. Okay, he picked up an ultra rare out of that. He's still got an ultra rare and three epics, which would be great. Great, pick up all of those. <laughs> pick up all of those or some, please. <laughs> I'm hoping this pet doesn't pick up like ice accuracy or, or something like that. I don't want ice accuracy. I don't want health gift. Come on, <laughs> give up something we can use. And right now ice dealer is, the, is a great, great start. And for Derby, he has four ultra rares. So he's got possibilities as a race pet too, although he seems like a big old lumbering kind of thing. I, I did him in the maze once to see how fast he runs. <laughs> he's like an old Cadillac. He, he can move once he gets up there, but it takes him a minute to get started. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and train him up to his adult and I will be right back. And I am back. Mr. Piper is just about to make adult. So I'm gonna go ahead and train him now and we'll see what he gets. While I had Mr. Piper off camera, I ran him through the maze a few times to boost his intelligence stat up a little bit. And I'll tell you something. I don't know if you guys have ever had a St. Bernard, but let me describe a St. Bernard for you. If you've ever, if you ever had one, you'll laugh because the description is so, so accurate. A St. Bernard, is a huge, lumbering, drooling, <laughs> walking pad of hair that'll probably give you more love than any other dog you've ever owned. <laughs> Honestly, they, they're, they're like a teddy bear that's a dog. They really are. And if you've ever had one, or if you, if, if you never had one, I recommend getting one. Because it's probably the best dog, or among the best dogs I've ever owned. And I swear this depiction, this game depiction of this dog is pretty close to accurate about what they do and how they act and all that. You, it, you couldn't have gotten any better. Anyway, he just got that next training. So let's see what he ends up with. Crafty. <laughs> I don't know about his talents, but well, he got crafty. Plus 50 max to will. And he got clear. Remove one negative from self. 15 second countdown. That seems like a pretty good talent. The race talent there. All right. 
And that put him up to adult. So let's see what he's got real quick. I have to remind myself because it's been a minute since I trained him. So he got Ice Dealer, which I thought was great. <laughs> he got Crafty, which, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's what he's got for now. And he's got this for Derby, which is Big Recovery and Clear. And I'm going to get back off of here and train him up to his next level, which is Ancient. And see what he gets this time. See, look at him. He's just so cute. Look at him. <laughs> that exa that's just about a waggly tail and the whole thing. <laughs> He's got stuff wagging at both ends. He's got his tongue wags out the front and his tail wags out the back. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get him up to his next level. And I will be right back. And I am back. Mr. Piper is just about to hit his ancient level. <laughs> and I have to say that while I've been training him on the cannon because it's quick... I almost feel bad about shooting him out of the cannon. He sounds kind of—he <laughs> sounds kind of really sad to go be <laughs> to be shot out of the cannon and go flying out there. I've had some pets that sounded like they were really enthusiastic about it, but <laughs> see what I mean? Listen, oh, <laughs> he does not sound enthusiastic about that at all. If it wasn't for the fact that he's getting trained really well, <laughs> I don't know if I would want to do it or not. All right, two more gobblers are separating us from our ancient. So they're out of here. And one, and a one, and a two, and a zero. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what we get. We had a eh, talent last time, so maybe we'll get a great one this time. And we'll give him a fancy yogurt because he really likes those. Nice. He got spell proof. There we go. That is great. Great. He also got an ultra rare for his derby, which is slick and slide at well slick to all lanes, 40 second cooldown. Nice, nice. Okay. I, I, I was I'm astounded. He got an epic and an ultra rare. That's really nice. Let's see. So he's still got another epic to get, two more epics and an ultra rare that he could get out of the out of his talent pools. He's got two more chances on his next on the next video. That's nice. Okay, and for Derby he got one of the ultra rares. All right. That is going to finish him up for this time because I'm going to do his mega and his epic in the next video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Just basically do all the things you've already been doing because I hit 2k subs and I appreciate it. And I love all of you for it. I couldn't believe how fast that happened. You guys have been sharing. <laughs> I don't even have to tell you anymore, I guess, really. If you want, leave a comment to talk to me, to ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze, because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skeleton Mystic. Welcome back to Pet Training Baby Tomega, the Rescue Rover. In the last video, we trained him up to Ancient, just like we always do, and he, hit, he popped a great talent there at Ancient, where he got Spell Proof, and he got another Ultra Rare Race Talent. So I'm really anxious to go ahead and get him back in here and get him started on his training.